I mean, at first, if you want to, uh, to make a large transaction uh, as an investor or as a lender, you are uh, more or less forced to, to work in, in Paris because that's where you have large, uh, large loans. So the, the provinces uh, are interesting. They offer very stable uh, cash flow uh, perspective, which is, which is good. But if you want to do a 50, 100 million uh, euro transaction, uh, investment or loan, it's difficult in the, in the regions. Well, clearly, I think it's, and it's pretty new, I think, over the, the last years, uh, considering the lack of core assets um, in, in Paris and the, 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 the large amount of capital uh, allocated to France. The, the investors have um, considered other, uh, other places in Paris. And the more and more we are involved on the transactions in, in Lille, in Lyon, in Marseille, in uh, even Bordeaux recently, even Nantes, which is a smaller city recently. And those cities as, as such as Lille or Marseille or Lyon are considered as regional um, from the Paris perspective. But if you look European-wide, uh, there are very large cities. I mean, there are larger cities than most of the Italian cities or, or even the, the German cities. Uh, Lyon is a very big economy. Uh, Lille is getting stronger, with uh, and with the allocation of those um, those um, I mean that capital from from institutional players, I think the the real estate class of assets is is now really improving in those cities, uh, with more visibility uh, in terms of uh, of cash flow, in terms of uh, tenancy market, etc. I, I don't know whether Larry would would opine on that on that, but from our perspective, it's clear uh, that we are more and more involved in in in, in, in deals in regions. Uh, as an alternative to Paris. Yeah, I, I think I'd agree with, with what you both said. I think that it's, it's hard to get large lot sizes in those regions, but you know they are well-established markets. And especially if you're out of the office sector and you're talking about logistics or shopping centers, then you will see, you know, you will see larger deals in those markets. Um, and you know, there's always interesting stories, you know, smaller cities like Bordeaux with the, with the TGV arriving, um, you know, that's going to that's gonna really improve that market. So there's, there's interesting dynamics. I just think if you're, but, but you're right, if you're an office investor and you want sort of, you know, 50, 100 million euro plus deals, there's a lot, a lot less liquidity. <laughs>